To get myself through the pandemic, I have been summoning everything. I have learned about surviving in a new world as an immigrant. I left the Philippines as a kid to join my parents in California. Wilong Tiaga, Wilong Niliga, my grandma used to say. Triply translated, it means no perseverance, no stew. That lesson on weathering hardship recently took on new meaning. I am not just worried about the virus, reports of hate crimes against Asian Americans are up, while President Trump continues to characterize the disease as foreign and Chinese. Oh many of my friends are worried about heading outside not only because of the virus, but because of the racist slurs hurled at them. Filipinos, like other immigrant groups, tend to be overrepresented in jobs on the front lines of the pandemic. The Philippines sends more nurses abroad to staff the world's health care systems than any other sea, country in the world. Filipinos also make up a third of all cruise ship workers and, in China, are the largest group of migrant domestic workers. The service industry that delivers food to our doorsteps relies on immigrants, too. Many of the neighborhoods where people of color and immigrants live have more air pollution, which can be deadly during outbreaks of a virus that affects the lungs. For instance, Latinos are over 51% more likely to live in counties, with dangerous levels of SM, odd than non, Hispanic whites. That can lead to chronic conditions such as asthma that makes someone especially vulnerable to COVID, D, 19. Pollution has also been linked to heart disease. People with serious heart conditions are also a t higher risk of getting seriously sick from COVID-19.